What's up, Christ United Kids? I hope you're having an amazing day. We are going to jump into God's Word, and I hope you've got your Bibles out because we are going to be digging into His Word in just a minute. But first, we're going to practice our verse for this week. Are you ready? It is Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. Awesome. So yesterday we talked about that we know that Jesus lives in us when we say it, when we confess with our mouths that he is Lord, that he came to this earth to die on the cross for our sins, and that he is in heaven um, making a place for us to be. So um, today we're going to see another verse about that. So grab your Bibles and we are in 1 Timothy. So 1 Timothy, if you had if you had Galatians um, marked, like I kind of have it marked right here in my Bible, our memory verse, Galatians. Um, 1 Timothy is just a few, few books over. We're in 1 Timothy 2, and we are going to read 1 through 5, 6. 1 through 6, okay? 1 through 6. So, and we have read some of this before. I urge you then, first of all, that all requests, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for everyone. So that doesn't really have anything to do with what we're talking about today, but Paul is saying we need to be praying for other people. We need to pray that our friends, that our family members know who he is, all right? And then it says, um, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful, quiet lives. Listen to this part, in all godliness and holiness. Guys, God's plan for us from the very beginning was that we would live a life that brings him honor and glory, that we would live a godly and holy life. And we can only do that when he's in us. All right. So then verse three says, this is good and it pleases God, our savior, who wants all men to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. God's plan is that every single person know him. That's what his plan is. All right, then look at verse five. All right, it says, for there is one God and one mediator between God and men. There is one God and one mediator between God and men. The man, Jesus Christ, who gave himself as a ransom for all man, men, the testimony given in its proper time. So guys, this is, this is saying that Jesus is the mediator. He's the one who goes before us. He took all of our sin so that we can go to God and be blameless. Isn't that amazing? That is what Jesus did. So when Paul says he's been crucified with Christ, remember it means that he, that means that we are putting off our sinful nature. God is taking it. Jesus, the mediator is taking it away. And that we no longer live, but that Jesus lives in us. Jesus, the mediator, the go-between, between between God and people, is having Jesus in our hearts. So, let's pray and thank God for that. Let's thank him for Jesus and that he is the one who goes between, who covers all of our sin, who takes all of it on. Let's thank him for that right now. Dear Jesus, thank you so much. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you, Jesus, for being the mediator between us and God, me and God, for making my heart blameless. Lord, thank you for living in me. And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow.